Okay, I think this is recording. Drake Dragon here, Drake the Dragon, doing a quick little post. I haven't done a vlog in a while. I'm going to use my friend's conference room because it has all the vintage cool stuff rather than my room, which has the toys, which should be what I should be using. Um, pouncing Drake toy, just got an update. Uh, making some minor changes for strength because I guess that's what people buy them for I just like cute doggy toys that you can cuddle <clears throat> and squeeze and stuff like that um, but yes uh, apparently he's let's see he's on the phase right now where they made a blank prototype and we've been having discussing looking for black vinyl, which is PMS black or close to black instead of off black. I don't know because it's all Pantone colors. And artists like to use RGB colors because it matches your computer monitor. But you know what? Translation is translation. People are doing it themselves now. <clears throat> Community is really weird. So I'm going to go in my own direction for now. I do plan to actually make more Drake toys, just keep that in mind, so that's why it's out of stock. I don't know when, because I don't have lack of space, but as soon as things start clearing up and work starts not hounding my ass, which they're constantly doing, but they tell me to put stuff on hold and then tell me that's taking forever. I says, you don't, can't tell me to put stuff on hold and then tell me it's taking forever. You know, you, you got to remember all the holds you put. It's like all the timeouts on football. Yeah, it's going to run into overtime if you keep timing out over and over. So, yeah. So, which really annoys me on that. I said, just relax. Let's make a list of stuff. We'll get it done. Celebrate. Get it done. The problem is there's always more stuff to do, but that's because a lot of people keep going around in a circle and things don't last as long. So, either we make it redundant till the other stuff needs repair or whatever. Um... I try to make things so it's a little bit more smooth sailing, but people don't like that because they want to grow. And I says, fine, you can grow, but then we need more teams, you need more people. I'm going to probably go in my own direction. So back to the Drake Toy Project. Um, it's going to take a while to learn how to set up this Amazon stuff. I might have to watch the university videos on the weekend and see what I can pick up real fast because I'm a pretty fast learner at this stuff. Um, it may be something to get into because I'm pretty fast at learning things by visual. So YouTube is like the best programming tool ever. I mean, there's a lot of stupid fun stuff, but that's for the ADHD spectrum people. By the way, I'm bipolar, so you can see why I get really, really not liking this at all. But anyhow, so I've caught up to the uh, pouncing. Um, that one's a prototype, so I should have them hopefully in by 90 days or less. Um, they said they're already starting to make them in the factory. It's in production queue. Some manufacturers will have some production schedule and time between, so they do the smaller projects, but they got to keep the people there working, which is, I guess, a good thing of being a manager to a company and then retiring after 30 years of working. So I guess you deserved it. Um, in my case, I'm on and off retirement because I'm an automator. And when you automate, you write a macro. You don't have to hit the email button, send, 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 send a hundred times, which is how I started with the with the first Drake Toy projects and the pre-orders um, with Skipper Toys. Yes, I will pre-publish that again, saying that I was the first to do that that way, a jack of many trades. But lately, living in SoCal is not the best place to be because, well, as much as you can make a six-figure income overnight, you can also spend a six-figure income. And no, I don't make a six-figure income, so that tells you. But I've been working around and working my ass off and getting back into the paranormal stuff. They made some neat stuff. I saw one with a rotating knob, which is really cool, I think, is they put a motor, I guess they glued to the tuning pot so the thing moves around while it's tuning instead and sweeps it around using an analog controller, and that's done with a servo instead. Um, I know how they did it. It's not hard, but I've been seeing a lot of people getting into so many products, so maybe I should build my own, maybe Drake-themed paranormal gear. What do you think? I think so. I think I will redo sometime this week tmdrake.com and turn that back into a blog and then maybe put some paranormal stuff on there and then link it to FFA instead of forwarding it to FFA. I figure maybe it's time to start rolling in my own direction and starting to build other side incomes again because I did that with my 
uh, Drake's computers, then it pretty much went dead during the Big O administration, and traffic was shit by 2014. So luckily we're in downtown LA, but by 2016 it was cheaper to actually drive the car than to take public transportation for me. So I went back in that direction as well. And then I got a bumper guard and started going to a lot of fur meets and stuff because I had some uh, recreational funds again. So I went back to that. What I should have done is went back and invested, but, you know, first prototype of a Drake toy made by Jet Creations, two grand. So two grand for a toy that's filled with air. Yeah, I know. But, you know, you live and you learn. You make some really fun things, and it's impressive because when something you love, it's kind of priceless. But in reality, you could put a price on everything. I still haven't got my tails replaced. The maker kind of quit on me, held my project, took the one that was finished apart, which pissed me off so much because I'm like, dude, if you're going to take it apart, you're going to put it back together, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That just sounds like the fucking illegals that actually worked for me. No, they didn't finish stuff up. I mean, if you give it a B minus, okay, fine. They stole some stuff. I don't care much about that. But now I'm beginning to learn, you know, money is everything. And sometimes, you know, if you have money in your mouth, is you can make, you can send rockets to space and man to the moon. So with that learning that perspective, I think I'm focusing on building my career in a different direction now rather than working and having fun, I think I'm going to move up the food chain whether my company likes it or not. They, I gave them the option last week in a meeting to either, they one guy did say that I should get a raise, which he's correct because 30% inflation on average should warrant 30% raise. But then I'm like, well, that also means I'll be paying more taxes, but at the same time, still changes your worth. But the, that prevents you from going to another business, another company, another organization. I might put up uh, willing to work for hire, but not for the same reason as everyone else. Because if I do ever get a partner with someone that works on tech technical stuff, as much tech work as I can do or had done in the past, I would rather be more partners in, in joint ownership ventures because then we can grow the company and then maybe sell it down the road and take off and have a nice vacation again. It doesn't mean I can't do that right now, but it just means if I do it right now, that's instant gratification rather than delayed gratification. Delayed gratification sometimes yields a better thing, like a commission that's two years out that you paid, like now it's what, 10 grand for a commission when it used to only be two grand was, uh, two to five grand was high enough. So I'm just not interested anymore in that because even though it does work and it does make you popular in some cases because you have something really unique, but at the same time, it makes it much harder to replace if something ever goes up in smokes. Well, I've never had the fandom help me. I never had anyone help me. I've had to do stuff on my own and and trying to rely on anyone to help me usually ends up on either them taking forever or B, I get screwed at the end. Yeah. Yeah. I paid for five people that way. So that's the reason why I'm not really in that mood anymore. But now I'm thinking about doing more stuff on Amazon, which is electronic and automated. You could do a lot of fun stuff there. Um, I'm still like to build custom stuff on the side, but that's going to just cost a large commission project. And I would definitely love to maybe write books, publications, and get into things that do not require a 9 to 5 job. I mean, I've worked there for almost 50, 17 years, maybe 2 or 3 more years I could tolerate. So we'll see how far we go next generation of uh, working as an IT, not even a manager anymore. So whatever the case is. I'm going to have to have a talk about that. But yes, I do make stuff happen. It's just I'm not going to make it happen very fast. I need to pace myself because i got to think and switch gears, put one hat to another hat to another hat. I might be faster if I'm not in California. SoCal is definitely a dread on everything. Anyhow, there's my 10-minute spiel vlog for this week.